on this Saturday, I am uh, going to try to intersperse some things in between these um, uh, building videos of uh, the uh, parts for the uh, heat kits. Um, I want to show you a couple things that I got in the mail um, yesterday and today. Now, this first item is going to be something that uh, George has been fooling around with. Get my other camera set up here so I can get a little bit better image of it. But he's been working with his uh, a wireless microphone in his shop, and I, it got me to thinking that I had I had wanted one of those before. And so I thought, well, you know, if I can find one really cheap, and uh, I thought that would be a kind of neat thing to play around with. So. You know, you know me, me guys. <laughs> I found one cheap. Ten bucks. Okay? Now, <laughs> this may not be very good, obviously. Ten bucks it probably isn't. Of course, it's Chinese, but I, I got it from a U.S. seller for ten. Uh, there really wasn't a lot of difference in the price from China to here, so I thought, well. Uh, like I said, this will be something to play with. And uh, you guys ought to know me well enough to know now that I like to play around with stuff. Um, in addition to this, I got, uh, as you can see, all of my cameras and computer and things like that are, don't use this size of uh, jacks and plugs. So I've got uh, this to go along with it. That basically fits in there and comes out to be eighth inch and or 3.5 millimeter, whatever they call it. But uh, this was like two two forty five, I think, shipped from uh, Sweetwater, and uh, so I got that. So I haven't. Uh, I think it requires batteries for this, so I haven't done that yet. But uh, um, anyway, I, I think this this will be. You you will see. This is the. Uh, I didn't know if you've seen this, but this is a little microphone comes with it a little what they call them lapel lavalier whatever they call them anyway uh, got that and so that'll be coming up some experiments with that um, also today I got this little gem in the uh, mail this is my ballon that I ordered the other day now your um, of course this will connect to your dongle through the cable uh, this will connect to the hula loop wires coming out of the hula loop and uh, That's how we get from there to there and you could do it like I said with clip leads and stuff like that But uh, this was something I've been wanting to try anyway, and really the main reason I got this was for the um, uh, when I hook up my my AM antenna to try and get some um, signals out of the radio to see what those look like on the uh, SDR and uh, that's what we're going to do with that. Okie dokie. So that's the two things, or three things, I guess, that uh, I got out of the mail. Uh, my wire is still on the way from Florida, I believe. Um, it's in between here and there. So it'll be here the uh, one day for sure. Um, and uh, when it arrives, we'll be able to continue our work with the uh, kit. Not that I really I'm ready for that stage anyway but all right let me get back to the other camera all right I have uh, back with you again on the uh, like I said the um, wire will be coming in and that that'll be for the uh, kits when they get to them and I did lay out a little bit of a uh, I guess you would call it a order that I want to do this in and uh, I'm gonna have to put my glasses on because I cannot see that computer screen that well so, uh, first uh, is the initial tear down, uh, separate all the parts, assess parts, preliminary clean face plates, cabinet, etc., etc. And like I said, that's, uh, in other words, on that uh, IM28, uh, I wanted to clean that uh, face plate up because if, if it was going to be in such terrible shape, you know, it wasn't going to be worth it for me to take the time and do all the other work that was involved. Uh, to get it back in, you know, a new looking condition. But now the, the faceplate wasn't that bad, so I'm going to go ahead and try it. So, all right, and the second thing 
uh, strip all the wires uh, and components soldered to terminals clean the terminals and that's another uh, thing I, I may may do some checking first because uh, there there is some uh, potentiometers in here and if if uh, if I check between the two uh, carbon tracks and traces and if they don't measure what they're supposed to then probably probably no sense in going through all the trouble of cleaning them and, and things like that so that may be in there too um, next is uh, thoroughly clean all parts ports or pots switches cabinet meter and repaint if necessary um, so that's going to be the probably next step after I do what I'm doing now and also I meant to say this I am going to be alternating between these two kits I'm not going to just go all one one and all the other one I'm just going to do that one I'm going to do one day I want to do the IM28 which was the last one I worked on and the next work day I have on on the, on this project will be the uh, C3 heat, heat kit C3 so I'm going to try to alternate those each day that's going to keep it a little fresher for me and uh, like I said, and for you guys too, I mean you're not looking the same thing every day. And I, I know those uh, where I took the parts off was a little bit boring. And I'm trying to uh, cut all, a lot of that out because you've seen most of that. And um, I'm going to do examples of, uh, you know, like on this next video is uh, stuff that, you know, I show you how I, I clean the terminals of the switches, pots, things like that. And really after you've seen it once, there's no sense in watching me do every every one because it's they're all the same <coughs> so next one is uh, check the parts uh, to be reused and new parts against the parts list and order anything that I don't have and that's a, a you know it's the way you do with any kit when you get it in the mail you basically first go through it and check all the parts are there and things like that and that's what I'll be doing on that um, if there isn't something that, you know, if I come up with, I've got one parts machine on the, on the VTBM, so surely I can come up with enough parts on that, and uh, Robert has sent me most of the parts for the C3, so I should be good on both of them, but, you know, in case, you know, I'll have to order something, you know, that's going to have to be done. Um, once I have all the, all my ducks in a row, uh, begin reassembly, and that's, uh, that's pretty much it for the uh, process that I'm going to be using on these uh, these items and uh, so that's how I'm going to do it so you guys uh, you've seen the, the items I got in the mail today you've seen uh, all that so I think that's it I've got to go get Kylie here got to keep an eye on the time her bus is supposed to be coming back in at 2.30 to the old school and I've got to go pick her up there um, they had a volleyball tournament in Indianapolis and uh, I guess my daughter and her husband couldn't go so I'm going to go pick her up when she gets back so anywho that's uh, pretty much that and uh, I will go back to work on my editing video <laughs> I'm doing a lot of editing video here lately so I kind of enjoy that so all right you guys have a wonderful wonderful day thank you very very much for watching my silly videos and I do appreciate it so we will See ya. Back home, folks.